and military leaders have stolen 15 billion dollars in 20 years through arm deal civic groups that is what i'm telling you that they are stiff this news now will expose so many things for you this particular news tell you 15 billion dollars 15 billion dollars is not a sound it's not a petty petty money this is up to some countries uh, or areas budget in 20 years that is what they have siphoned as the money is coming they pocket it as the money is coming they put it in their pocket i'm telling you the reason why they bought that to Kano was because of trump they want to see how they will have a good romance how buhari's government will have a good romance with the trump administration because trump was against them completely so they were trying what are we going to do to impress him to buy his mind somebody suggests to them that trump is a businessman if they patronize american business american companies they can somehow gain his attention or lower his mind uh, uh, towards being so um, aggressive towards the zoological republic that was why they pumped that hundreds of millions of dollars to the company that manufactured this tucano jet but look at the one they have stolen 15 billion in 20 years 15. the center for democracy and development has revealed that military leaders stole as much as 15 billion dollars 6.1 trillion at 114 to a dollar through fraudulent arm um, procurement deals in the last 20 years 15 billion dollars 15 billion dollars in 20 years this is what they have eaten atahiru them um bratai them all of them this is what they have stolen buhari them all of them this is the money they have stolen what is his name uh, um, the, the arms deal man during Jonathan what was the name of this guy that they put in jail I've forgotten his name I, was, I remember his name later this is the money they have been stolen from the military all this had it been this money we are invested fully if you see a Nigerian soldier on the street you will respect him because he will respect himself but a hungry man don't know respect the soldier you see there now the kind of hunger in his mind in his stomach and what that hunger is causing in his mind is very dangerous that is why he can cock his gun and kill a human being up to 30 40 50 years driving lorry because of 100 naira because of 50 naira he cock gun to re to waste somebody's life because of what hunger has caused his stomach anything can if you if you want to understand what i'm saying watch natural geography and you see when animals all these carnivorous animals are hungry they can even eat themselves they don't care again that is how you that is what you see in those military men with guns and the abos is the one who put them in that situation now turn their mind to the masses the bulls will use them to commit the heinous crime they want to and they turn their mind say now go and they start money from people and they love it so much they love it let's continue the report affirmed that successive um, presidents failure to reign reign the insecure reign in security sector corruption was a highly consequential anti-corruption failure which has led to widespread insecurity verging on instability and has weakened Nigeria counter-terrorism capacity allowing groups like Boko Haram to thrive. The report also noted that political political and security elites have monetized the conflict and the resulting humanitarian crisis which is true the politicians and these the allies they are the one using this they are the ones supplying things to fact the zoo eh? if you understand nigeria you just burn it instantly 
According to the report, despite promises by the current administration to expose those behind sponsorship of criminals, no individual body or corporation has been convicted in Nigeria for funding terrorism since the in insurgents started in 2009. Yes, the name was submitted to Buhari's administration from UAE. These are the names of people sponsoring Boko Haram. What are you going to do? Up to today, we have not heard them. Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Tahiru, had in April 2021 told the House of Representative Committee investigating the $1 billion excess crude account to fund meant for purchase of arms to ask the specific individual how the money was spent as he assumed office only two months ago you remember when um, the letter tahiru uh, was called by the house uh, the man was even rude i remember that picture that the video clip it was so rude to them and um, they couldn't do anything at the end of the day it was just um, uh, a jamboree it was just a shirad appearing before the um, olaide akirimi led house of representative ad hoc committee investigating matter in abuja the cos chief of army staff said it behaved the lawmakers to ask the individual involved in the deals to account for the fund budgeted for procurement of weapon over the years which is true atahiro was somehow honest and um, somehow against some certain uh, ideas they want to use. That was why they killed Atahiro, Ibrahim Atahiro. That was why he was eliminated. We, 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 you, 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 you must know that. That was why they killed him. Because asking Atahiro at that time is a very wrong one. The Senate themselves, who were calling for those things, those committees, all of them are part of the criminals that share the money. He said, you may wish to recall that I took over the mantle of leadership barely two months ago, the period from which you wanted this report. Having been summarized in the executive summary, explain whatever details you will require. Issue a procurement that you so demand to know we are done by specific individual. I will rather... I would rather you call this individual to come and explain to you very specific issues. The general issue has been contained in a report and the summary. It goes to speak about the entire report and it explain it. Atahiru procedures Atahiru pre predecessor include General Luka Yusuf, Abdurrahman, Dambuza, and Kenneth Memena, Azubiki Hejrika, and uh, Tuka Buratai, all of whom submitted relevant documents to the lawmakers. These people were stupid as at that time, calling him to explain whereby they know how the money was shared. All those things were just game. The thing is that the 15 billion we are spent and the members of the House of Assembly were part of it. They were part of that money. Reporters has disclosed that one billion dollars set aside by President Muhammad Buhari from the CECA to buy military ammunition was actually released to the military and shared among the Air Force, Army and the Navy on them the immediate past service chief that was the one billion deal i always remember in each time i'm talking about i read that news very well because um yeah i was his name the criminal buratai the the the, the, the criminal buratai i waited to make sure that this one billion dollar came out and they shared it the news broke that time said that this money they purposely made it for the press not to know it was within them they shared the money and they pocketed it it was after that money that Bratai retired Bratai now retired hmm. we learned that the one billion dollar release which was greeted by the widespread criticism by the president buhari announced 
so in April 2018 was approved by National Assembly and shared to the military arms in 2019 without public knowledge. Yes, I remember this news. To avoid more criticism, the administration of the immediate past chief of army staff, Buratai, retired. He is a contemporary in the Air Force. Air Vice Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar retired and Navy Vice Admiral Iboko Etebe Ibas retired received the fund but they deliberately choose not to make public knowledge. In December 2018, Bratai, while addressing newsmen in Medugri, Bruno State, had hinted that the money had been released but had not yet got to the mili to the army. It was in 2018 he plotted the deal. The deal matured in 2019. Then in 2020, Bratai retired. When the deal matured, they shared the money successfully between 2019 and the thereabout, entering 2020. By the time he got his own, he retired. Then he retired and uh, what's his name? Atahiru took over. Satire took over. Satire saw what he had not, he didn't believe. They want him to defend it. He was aggressive with them in their inner caucus meeting. And they now notice it's like we have made a mistake by choosing someone who cannot defend us. And on that note, they start they start plotting his killing. They start plotting his killing. That was how Ibrahim Atahiru was killed. 